I don't want anybody to think I'm weak. Can't lift this. Cause you're throwing, you're throwing it around like a six pack of beer. Boy, it sure looked a lot deeper than that. Uh-huh. Did look a lot worse. <laughs> <laughs> How come none of my personal stuff ever cleans up that easy? I don't know. No <laughs> sleeves. That's got to be one of the most interesting greens I've seen. Hey, this is David with Haggerty and Redline Rebuild. Like every Redline Rebuild project, we got to hit the machine shop at some point. So we're over at Thurlby's. We have our massive block and our extremely massive cylinder head. And Todd's going to go through the cleaning process. We're going to start off with the block. We are going to bake the block. One of the concerns is that the factory used a, like a brass plug in the oil galleries. There's one on the front, one on the back, and then one up top here. And when brass heats, it tends to shrink. I think that's mainly because you push the oil out of it. And we want to um, cook the block so we can get all the grease and whatever it cleans up better as far as where the oil passage is at. So what we'll ultimately do is pull these brass plugs out and then we'll drill and tap them with, with pipe threads. Now on the cylinder head, we are not going to bake that. It also has brass plugs in it. But in this case, uh, we're going to uh, not, uh, not sure how thick this wall is, so we may not have enough material in there. So we're just gonna play it safe. The part itself is very clean already, so we're just gonna go through and tumble it and uh, go through that without the bake piece. So with that, Todd's taking it from here. And right now I have my rockauto.com tip of the day. These guys, are priceless. Make sure you pay them well and they will help you out all the time. Well, here we are. Block is all clean, the head's nice and clean. Now Todd's gonna go through and mag check everything like normal. And then we're, uh, we gotta really dig into what we're gonna do here. We're gonna first, we're gonna surface the top of the block, get rid of uh, certainly this one, and then see where this one leaves us as far as deck height. We know we got 25,000 to work with, and it looks like we're probably gonna have to sleeve this hole because that gouge goes down in there. So. Uh, one step at a time here. But so far, it looks uh, looking good. You've got a couple good pieces there. That's the verdict, Doctor? Yeah. All right. Cracks that I see. You know, something I've always wanted to have was my own machine shop, and today it feels like this place is mine because Mark's working on the head over here. Todd already cleaned everything for us. Mark's working on the head, putting in uh, the guides are in, basically went through and knurled them and then reamed them size. That's all done, and then is now put in new intake and exhaust seats and then finishing that up. And then over on the other side of the shop, Mike's over here doing the boring work and uh, getting the block ready. So from our last update, we were a little nervous about the big gouges across the top of those uh, into the two cylinders across the deck. Thankfully, 
it appears that we're a little over concerned because it cleaned up at what do we have 14 14,000 yeah 14 thousandths off the deck I had measured 25 in the hole already so we we got plenty of room to take that 14 off and uh, so far it's cleaning up nice so we're not going to need a shim and there was just that little chunk out of the little corner of the uh, one cylinder so Basically, by the time we cut this 40 over and put a chamfer, that should be gone. But we're going to see here real soon because uh, he's already on to board number two and uh, rolling around nice. Well, right there we have it. Our block is done. Mike saved it for us. We trimmed off the top a little bit, a little overbore, took care of that problem. And now these bores will seal nicely and, well, not puke oil all over the place would be kind of cool. Mark's over here on this side finishing up the head. He's gonna put it over there on the, on the surfacer and clean off that. Uh, he's got it over there right now, but so we'll clean up the head and then we will be taking all of our parts to the paint shop. So that's where you'll see us next. All right, well, as promised, we are over here at Travers Body and Paint. I already took and went and uh, masked everything off over at our shop. Kind of keeps things uh, a little quicker from our end. And of course, we don't tie up uh, these guys over here because they are a production facility. So uh, trying to not be too much in their way. But we have our cylinder head already and prepped. We have the massive valve cover over here on this end. Timing chain cover is ready. And then of course our engine block is, is sitting over here and it's going to be nice and green when we're all done. I guess I should say when Jamie's all done. It's green. That's got to be one of the most interesting greens I've seen. All right, well, look at that. Well, there we have it. You can see all of our stuff is green now. So that means all of our sheeting is done and the stuff is painted, which means we can start the assembly process. So next time you'll see us, it'll be back at our shop with all the mini parts and you know the drill. Get out in the shop, get your work done, shoot, pick up a can of paint, spray something, make it look different.